Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Looks like my mic might be a little bit hot. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. So, hey, my name is Andy, and I am here to talk to you about getting started with Canva. If you haven't used Canva, today is your lucky day because we're going to do some getting started, creating something from scratch, from zero. So, let me update this over here real quick so I can see if anybody's on my feed just in case they want to talk to me. And if they do, then I'll talk to them. And if they don't, I'm going to talk to you. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that, guys. Sometimes I'm funny to myself. All right, so here we go. You ready? Let me switch you over here. We're going to talk about Canva. Uh, Canva, 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 transition. Here we go. Wrong window. Well, give me a second. Let me switch you back over here. This thing made a change, and I don't know why it did. Sorry about that. Give me just a second. More of them technical difficulties. But hold on, I can fix it real quick. All of your designs. There we go, here we go. Now we're switching over. Now we're cooking with grease, as my buddy Mike likes to say. <laughs> all right, so these are all of my designs uh, on Canva. And... Um, let's just start at the home. So if you go home on Canva, there you go. Um, this is basically their home page. Uh, I have already created an account, so you would need to do that on your own. But let's go create a new one. We're going to create a new social media account, a social media post, and let's do an Instagram. Now you guys saw on my Apollos development page the other day that everybody and their mama liked cats, right? So how about if we go grab a cat? We're going to do that again. So we're going to Pixabay. And I guess it could be puppies too. Let's try a puppy today. Just so we can see what's going on. P-U-P-P-I-E-S. Puppies. Oh, there's a... I was hoping we could get about a dozen of them. Y'all see anything you like? There's some cute ones. Hey, there's a koala. All right, we're just going to go back up here and get those two together <clears throat> looking through the fence. And I'm going to download it. And here we go. And it's called Rottweiler. So now here's the bad news. Y'all can't see where I get it from because it just doesn't show up that way. But we're going to go get it. So we're going to click on Uploads on the left. And I can look at any ones that I've already uploaded or I can go get a new one. So let me go grab it real quick. Um, there it is. And automatically it's uploading. So you have to wait for this progress bar to finish up. And there we go. Now you can either drag it into the middle and it will show up as whatever size. Or if you drag it like that, it shows up as the background. I like to be able to adjust it a little bit. So we're going to do a little bit like this. And then it may not be the right resolution, see? So we have to decide where we want to make the changes at. Um, we could do that, or we could do something different. But that's good enough for now. We'll just make those puppies look like nice and cute. And it's centered up. So you see the little pink line in the middle? That means I'm centered horizontally. Now, if I want to make it centered vertically, I just... There we go. And it kind of snaps into place. Now, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because I want them to go ahead and look both together. I don't want one to bite the other one because they're not. There we go. All right, so we're going to add some text to it. You ready to add some text? We're going to, we could use any of these predetermined whatevers, uh, templates that they've got right here. And I don't see any that I necessarily just like to have. But let's just go grab this. Love, joy, peace. Love, peace, and joy. Now, you see my text isn't showing up too good, huh? So we can change the color of that. We, we clicked it to make it highlighted so that it's the active element. And now we're just going to click on the A to change the color. And we can make it any of these colors we want. Or we can do a custom color. So it looks like uh, maybe an orange right there. Now, 
let's say that that text is not showing up very well and we need to put a screen behind it, okay? So we're just gonna leave this right here for now and we're gonna go get an element. Uh, and in this case, we'll use uh, just a square. Now there are several that are paid, several that are free. Any of these shapes that we wanna do, I mean, you can see all kinds of great stuff here. Let's just go get a square. I click on it and it just automatically pops in place and it, for some reason, Canva is smart enough to, smart enough to realize that it might wanna be something that's gonna be in the same tone as the majority of the picture. So if we took, uh, if we looked, the dogs are dark black and brown, the fence is brown, so it tried to match it to those colors, right? All right, so we also wanna make it somewhat transparent. So I'm gonna come back and then let's move it backwards. So that was transparency. Now we're gonna change the position. We're gonna move it backwards so that it shows up behind the text. Got it? All right, now look at here, y'all. Now it shows up the it shows up a little bit more, and it still shows the puppies. Now I don't know if you guys saw this or not, but love love peace and joy had a little little bit of text underneath it down here at the bottom. So to get to that, we need to click down there, and then we can change its color too. And let's make it white. See now it says from the Fitzgeralds. I don't know who the Fitzgeralds are, but thank you for mis wishing us love, joy, and peace. Now we could make that any color we want. We could also edit the text and make it bold. See, there you go. Except I should have gotten the F too and I missed the F. Sorry about that, Fitzgeralds. We're gonna make y'all all bold. Look at there. Now y'all thought that this was gonna be difficult, but that's not difficult, is it? And you can size it all together however you wanna do. And then once you've got it like you like it, we can highlight both of them. So right now we were just messing with the block, with the square, right? Now we want to add, we're going to click shift and click the text. And then we're going to tell it to group it. Uh, is this group? Where's the group? Y'all lost me. Well, I thought I was going to group. Oh, it's already a group. I can't do that, y'all. I'm sorry. This love, joy, peace, love, peace, joy, and the Fitzgeralds is already a group. There's two different, two different things there. See, it's two different fonts. That means they've already got two elements there that are grouped. So we can't group that with the with the block. I'm sorry. I lied to you. Don't be mad at me. Okay, there we go. So what if we want to do something else? There are all kinds of other elements that you can add to it, like a shape. Uh, or I tell you what, let's say that we wanted to throw a clock in there. Now, these clocks, uh, see if they're already just basically black and white, then we can take them and colorize those if we wanted to. It doesn't have to be a clock, but I'm just messing with a clock today. So let's take this clock and just drag it on here. Now see how it's kind of black grayed out, whatever color? That element is highlighted. We're gonna come up here and change the color and look at here, we just made the clock orange or purple or whatever you want. And then we can do whatever we wanna do with it. Uh, we could, if we wanted to be cute, we could put a dog bone down there anyway. Okay, so I've shown you how to place a picture. I've shown you how to, to either use it as the background or set it up however you want. I've shown you how to place text. Uh, I've shown you how to place an object or a, what they call uh, an element behind it. Uh, actually, it showed up on top and then I told you how to move it backwards. I also showed you how to make it transparent. Uh, you can do transparency with the picture too. So if we wanted the picture of the dogs to be transparent, we click up here on this little checkerboard thing at the top and we can transparent, see, we made the dogs wash away to nothing. We don't like that. Okay, so when you're all finished with it, then you can download it. You could share it straight to wherever, like if I were gonna post this on my Facebook page or Twitter or whatever we wanna do. What I always do is because just in case I wanna make a story out of it or something else, uh, you can do all kinds of different things, but for, for this example, we're going to do a download and it's going to save it onto my computer. It's going to ask, what do we want to save it as? For the most part, PNG stands for Portable Network Graphics. PNGs are great for working with things that you're going to upload online. Number one. Number two, you can also make a PNG have a transparent background. So wherever this white is, see this white right here? Anything that's white that we haven't put an element on top of will show up as transparent. Now, you're saying, well, so? Well, <laughs> if we wanted to, we could have made anything just the shape. 
So if we needed a transparent uh, clock to put on top of something else, another picture or something, we could have done that here. Uh, so there's all kinds of great things you can do with that. So we're going to say this is a PNG and then download it. And Canva tells you when it's done. And then if you want, you can take this thing and post it to whatever social media that you'd like to. And you're ready to go from there. So hey, you learned a little bit about Canva. I've got a document that I've been working on for you. Uh, just basically everything that we've done. I did a little outline of what we're going to do. And then I've got some other links here that I've already got together for you. I'm going to add a few more to it. So if you would like that document, I would be more than happy to send it to you next time I'm at the computer. I'm about to be in trouble because my wife has got the dinner cooking and she made my favorite. So I need to get on the road to her. Uh, not that I don't love y'all, but I love my wife more. <laughs> Anyway, so listen, if you would like this doc, send me a message and I would be happy to get it to you. And uh, if you would like any other information about anything else I've talked about, I'd be happy to talk to you about that too. Listen, I hope you have a fantastic afternoon. And if there's anything I can do for you, I would love to help you in any way. Be blessed and I'll talk to you later.